Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl I was brought into this world Wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle Though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne Wearing first dazzling diamond jewelry A girl can't complain I live in upscale life Dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself. Tell me, how long have you been directing? Uh, probably about 10 years now, close to a decade. A lot of, a lot of my work has been in the past year. So I've kind of looked at it as like a training period. And then now, like, you know, sort of graduating and, like, ready to take on, like, a lot of projects. My company, Valenti Vision Films, is working with Starline Films on The Gentleman. Right. And that's, that's about, that's the extent of it. Now, how long have you, how long has that company been around, Valenti Visions? I'd say about, like, you know, a good eight to ten years. That long? Yeah, that I've been always doing, like, my own things, my own projects. I think it's, uh, as of recent, though, like, the past six, seven months that, I actually took it to the next level, you know, incorporated the company, made it a corporation, you know, able to write checks out to pay people and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I think the timing was right because now it's like I've been able to do so many different projects, uh, raise funding, get a lot of uh, projects up and running and, make and completed. make the movie better. Yeah, you know, make it a better production where people would be more interested in the stories and and I, I saw that the, there's a movie that you're doing now it has a lot of special effects it looks right. like a psychological thriller yeah exactly the hacking chronicles was a series we did about a year ago um, had a, obviously a bigger budget lots of you know car explosions and uh, gunfights stuff like that um, we just did another pilot called think tank that's sort of similar in genre that's sort of 24 action thriller you know um, sort of style and stuff that I that I enjoy too I think um, the thing with my style of filmmaking and stuff is that I try not to have a particular style and I can go from that psychological thriller to a campy sort of comedy I've also done uh, like a kids film like the adventures of little Batman and stuff so I like to mix it up and, and try my hand in a lot of different genres well, I tell you, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was great. Now, tell me a little bit about the casting, how you cast all the different people in the movie, and what you were, what you were looking for precisely with the different people that you casted in the movie. Well, for The Gentleman, I actually didn't cast the movie. They had already had it cast before I came on to direct, so... Uh, one of the because normally every project I've ever done I've always had my hand in the casting. Yeah, usually directors do have yeah, their hand. For the most case. part, for the most part, I do in all my other projects. Uh, you know, I pick the actors I want to play certain roles and stuff. For this one, it's a little different. I came in uh, a little later, like on the project. They had already had the funding. They had uh, you know most of the parts filled and stuff. So I made I basically met a lot of my actors the first day of shooting. You know, so it was sort of an adjustment period because, like, you know, I'm meeting them for the first time, they're meeting me for the first time. I know nothing about their acting abilities, they know nothing about my directing style. So it took like a day or two to get used to it, you know, because I have a, I have sort of a, a very fast run and gun sort of filming style where we're able to shoot a lot in a short amount of time and stuff because um, being the editor of all my projects myself and being the cinematographer. I think that's amazing that you are the editor and you do every, you do it all. I love the fact that you do it all. I think that's wonderful, really. Yeah, it's, a, it's something that I did. I started doing right in the beginning of my career, vowed that I would never do it again and have done it ever since. because. It really just makes perfect sense because 
the reason why I'm able to get the projects done so quickly is because... Because you do it yourself. Yeah, it's like I, I, I really direct for the edit because um, a lot of times when I used to edit other people's projects, I'd sit down in the editing room and go, you know, God, why didn't they do this? Or why didn't they get a two shot? Or why didn't they get a wide shot? And you're pulling your hair out. Whereas when I'm editing my own stuff, there's no one to blame but me. So I think ahead while I'm shooting a scene and I'm directing a scene, what, do I have everything I need when I go down in the edit room to make this work? And um, I, think, I think it just comes down to, I, I do have a photographic memory when it comes to editing. It's, I can edit the movie in my head while I'm shooting it and make sure I have every angle covered. I mean, my wife will tell you I don't have a photographic memory in my normal life. But when it comes when to it comes directing to, yes, a film yes, yes. and editing it, you do. Yeah, so it, it makes the process quick because as soon as I shoot a scene, I can go home that night and cut it together right away because I already know where every shot is on the tape, what shots I'm going to use, what shots I'm not going to use, and basically how it's all going to fit in that puzzle and stuff. How long does it take you to edit a movie? It take a long time. Well, the gentleman version that we showed tonight was 40 minutes in length. We shot that in six days, and when we wrapped shooting on the Sunday, uh, Starline had the rough cut, which was almost the final cut of the film, one week later. That's Tell my audience, is there a website or anywhere that can go for more information about your company and what you do? Oh, absolutely. You can go to ValentiVisionFilms.com. It's www. V A L E N T I V I S I O N F I L M S dot com. Terrific. You're going to give me a kiss goodbye, Dolly? Absolutely, I will. Mwah. Keep watching, Dolly. More celebrity interviews coming up. Pink champagne kisses. You've all